Hey. Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Um, we had plans to hang out today. Y yeah, <laughs> I assumed you forgot. Um, I went to your work because I was gonna wait for you to, you know, get done and finish your shift. But your coworker said you didn't come in that day. Like something happened today and you just, you couldn't make it. So, um, I went to your house. And surprise, surprise, you weren't there. And this is the only place I could think of. <laughs> yeah, I know it. It's your comfort spot. I mean, I'm glad you were here. If you weren't, I, I went nowhere else to look for you. So, um, I know you usually come here to relax or get your mind off of things. And I guess there's a lot on your mind if, um, you know you forgot we were gonna hang out today. No, I'm not upset about it. I'm just worried about you, you know? Something so big that you forgot about today's plans. I mean, yeah, it just makes me worried. Well, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I just want you to know that I'm here. Uh, you know, here for you. A and you can tell me anything and... And I won't run away or anything. <laughs> uh, you don't scare me if... That's what you're concerned about. You're too sweet for me to be afraid of you. No. I don't think you're ugly at all. Did someone tell you I thought you were ugly or... Oh, your ex. Okay, that, that makes sense. Of course this involved your ex. What did they do? <laughs> okay, so they called you ugly. Mm. Well, they're lying. Yeah, everyone has their own opinion. Uh, but do they really have nothing else better to do? They're gonna call you just to be mean to you? Honestly, that's really sad and they should get a life. I just don't want anyone being mean to you. Is all. The thought of someone calling you just to hurt your feelings, it's... Well, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Besides, you know, 
sitting here and talking to you. Unless you want me to leave, then, then of course I'll leave. You know, I'm not going to stick around if, if you need alone time or... I mean, if you insist, uh, I guess I'll stay. You know, everyone does have their own opinions, and, um, my opinion, uh, well, I, I think really highly of you. Yeah. You're really sweet, and you care so much. At least from what I've seen, you seem to really care. And you are not ugly. Uh, I think you're absolutely beautiful. You know, like, um, someone who should be adored and cherished and you deserve to be around someone who really loves you, who would do anything for you, you know, even call your ex and tell them how mean they are. And, you know, I would do that if you wanted me to. Or we should block their new number. I'm assuming it's a new number because you have them blocked on everything else. See, that's just how sad they are. I think they just miss you, and they don't like how good your life is going right now. Well, I'm proud of you. You've come so far, and it's really wonderful to see. You deserve all the good things. You deserve to be with someone you love and for that person you love to um be good to you N no i don't think i have any secrets to tell i'm pretty much an open book you know telling you um everything But you already know what I'm not telling you, don't you? That maybe I do have some feelings for you. Oh, really? You've known for a while. <laughs> Well, I guess it's not hard to believe. I mean, you're really smart, and... You always know when I'm hiding something. So, yeah. I guess I... Kind of, sort of, love you. And I want to do... Anything to make you happy. Even if you don't love me back, I just... I don't want you to tell me that just because I told you that. I, I mean, are you being honest? Or are you just saying things to say things?
Well, good. I mean, if I love you and you love me, then let's go on an adventure. Let's forget about your ex and just go have fun. Here, take my hand, and I will take you on a wonderful date that you deserve. Because honestly, you are wonderful. And you deserve everything.